name is Ron Ant with Helicopterhelmet.com and I'm here to discuss dual impedance selection. Have you ever been flying a helicopter and all of a sudden you're told to go fly another ship and all of a sudden you find yourself going from a high impedance system to a low or maybe the other way around. You've been flying in the military, National Guard or whatever and you want to go fly for the weekend using your own equipment. Ah, we have a problem. The impedance doesn't match. Okay, real simple. Now we have what's called a dual impedance selector switch. Little box right here. We hardwire it through the system. Goes through to an M87 mic. So you're wired for low impedance to start with. Now the M87 mic is one of the best mics ever made. It's waterproof, they last forever. Uh, and in this case, wired it through. So you jump into your UH-60, your low impedance, you're good to go. You pop out, you go to the Golf and you're flying a 407. Flip the switch. You're now high impedance. Your speakers are going to be wired at 300 ohms. Dual impedance selector switch is tied to a low impedance mic, which amplified it with the box. Okay? Small, out of the way. Helmet's ready to go for anything you want. And on this helmet particularly, also have a volume control. That's important when you use a dual impedance selector switch because you do have a volume issue between the low and the high. So when you add the volume control, uh, you can adjust your volume right there once you amplify or de-amplify your microphone. Very simple. And we install it for you on the helmet. And it's pretty much out of the way. You don't really notice it. Dual impedance selector switch by helicopterhelmet.com. Thank you.